Welcome to the global defense battle. India's Prahar and Pakistan's Nazar are two tactical ballistic missiles designed for short-range strikes. Both missiles serve specific battlefield roles and were developed to address different military needs. Prahar, developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, was developed to fill the gap between India's longer-range Prithvi and the smaller Pinaka rocket system with its induction planned in the early 2010s. Pakistan's Nazar, on the other hand, is a tactical nuclear-capable missile that was developed by the National Development Complex NDC. Introduced in 2011, Nasser was designed to provide Pakistan with the ability to deliver low-yield nuclear strikes on advancing enemy forces. Its development is often seen as a response to India's evolving missile capabilities, particularly to counter India's Cold Start Doctrine, which involves rapid mobilization of conventional forces. And today we will compare both of these missiles, India's Prahar and Pakistan's Nasser. The design of both the Prahar and Nasser missiles is focused on mobility and tactical deployment but they have distinct features in terms of structure, components, and dimensions. The Prahar has a sleek cylindrical body with stabilizing tail fins at the rear, which help with aerodynamic control and flight stability. In terms of dimensions, Prahar is approximately 7.3 meters long, with a weight of around 1,280 kilograms. It has a diameter of about 0.42 meters, making it relatively compact for quick and efficient launches. On the other hand, Pakistan's Nasar missile has a more compact and tactical design, emphasizing battlefield mobility and ease of deployment. The missile is shorter in length, around 6 meters, and weighs approximately 1-200 kilograms. Like Prahar, it features stabilizing tail fins to ensure stability and accuracy during flight. The missile's diameter is about 0.4 meters, which contributes to its streamlined structure. While Prahar is slightly larger, both missiles are compact enough to ensure swift tactical deployments. Coming to the propulsion and performance, Prahar uses a solid fuel propulsion system, which is known for being reliable and quick to ignite. Solid fuel is advantageous because it requires less maintenance and preparation before launch compared to liquid fuel. The missile has a single-stage configuration, meaning it relies on just one phase of propulsion to reach its target. It can travel at a speed of around Mach 2, which is twice the speed of sound. The missile has an operational range of up to 150 kilometers, and it can reach a maximum altitude of about 35 kilometers during its flight. Pakistan's Nasar also employs a solid fuel propulsion system and single-stage configuration, similar to Prahar. The missile can reach a speed of approximately Mach 3, making it slightly faster than Prahar. Its maximum range is 70 kilometers, significantly shorter than Prahar, but it's specifically built for short-range tactical use. The missile's altitude during flight is lower compared to Prahar. Both missiles are built for fast deployment and quick response, but Prahar's range and versatility allow it to strike further into enemy territory. Regarding payload capacity and warhead, Prahar missile is designed to carry a variety of conventional warheads. The missile can carry a payload of around 200 kilograms, which can include high-explosive warheads, submunitions, or other specialized payloads depending on the mission requirements. Prahar is not designed to carry multiple warheads, it carries a single warhead per missile. Since it is a conventional missile, its destruction radius depends on the type of warhead used, but typically, the damage zone for high-explosive warheads would be in the range of 50 to 100 meters. Pakistan's Nazar missile, on the other hand, is primarily nuclear-capable and designed to deliver low-yield tactical nuclear warheads. It can carry a payload of around 400 kilograms, which is larger than Prahar's capacity due to the additional weight of nuclear components. Nasser is designed to carry single tactical nuclear warheads with an estimated yield of 0.5 to 5 kilotons. The destruction radius of a 1 kiloton nuclear warhead could extend up to 500 to 1,000 meters depending on the terrain and blast effects. Nasser is also not designed to carry multiple warheads. It is a single warhead missile, focusing on a specific target area to maximize tactical effectiveness. Coming to the guidance system and accuracy, both the Prahar and Nasar missiles are designed for high accuracy in their respective tactical roles. Prahar missile uses a combination of inertial navigation system and GPS-based guidance, allowing it to correct its flight path and improve accuracy as it approaches the target. The INS uses onboard sensors to track the missile's position, but it may have some drift over time. By integrating GPS, the missile can adjust its trajectory mid-flight, improving its overall precision. It has a circular error probable of around 10 meters, making it very accurate for a tactical ballistic missile. On the other hand, the Nazar missile also utilizes a similar guidance system with inertial navigation and GPS-based correction. 
Its CEP is estimated to be around 30 meters, which is slightly less accurate than Prahar, but still effective for its battlefield role. Like Prahar, Nasser can be maneuvered during flight using its guidance system, though it is designed primarily for quick, direct strikes rather than complex mid-flight maneuvers. Both missiles use advanced guidance technologies, but Prahar offers a higher level of accuracy, particularly for longer-range engagements. Talking about the launch vehicle for both the missiles, Prahar missile is launched from a mobile transporter erector launcher TL. This is a vehicle-based system that allows the missile to be moved across different terrains, making it highly mobile and difficult to track. The TL can carry multiple missiles, which allows for rapid reloading and firing. Prahar can be ready to launch within a matter of minutes due to its solid fuel propulsion and pre-installed guidance systems, which reduce the preparation time. On the other hand, Pakistan's Nazar missile is also launched from a mobile multiple tube launcher mounted on a military vehicle. The launcher is designed to carry and fire multiple Nazar missiles, usually four in total from a single platform. Similar to Prahar, Nasser's solid fuel design allows it to be launched within minutes of receiving the command, making it a fast response weapon on the battlefield. In terms of response time, both missiles can be launched very quickly after deployment, with Prahar and Nasser having similar response times in the range of a few minutes. Coming the cost, Prahar missile's overall development cost is estimated to be around 100 to 150 crore rupees. This includes research, testing, and the production of prototypes. The production cost of each Prahar missile is estimated to be around 5 to 7 crore rupees per unit. This includes manufacturing, assembly, and the integration of guidance systems. On the other hand, the Nasser missile had a slightly lower development cost compared to larger missile programs. Estimates suggest that the R&D for Nasser would have cost around 75 to 110 crore rupees. The production cost of Nasser is estimated at around 4 to 6 crore rupees, making it relatively affordable for Pakistan's military. Both missiles are designed to be cost-effective for their respective roles. Regarding operational status of both missiles, Prahar missile is still in the process of being integrated into India's defense forces. While the missile has undergone several successful tests, it is not yet known to be produced in large numbers like some of India's more established missile systems. On the other hand, Nasser missile, being a tactical nuclear-capable system, is highly classified in terms of the exact numbers in active service. However, it is believed that Nasser has been produced in greater quantities due to its strategic role in Pakistan's defense against conventional military threats. Since its induction in 2011, Pakistan is thought to have dozens of Nazar missiles in active condition, with production ongoing to ensure a steady supply of tactical nuclear deterrence capabilities. In summary, each missile plays a critical role in their respective defense strategies, highlighting their importance in modern warfare. Prahar focuses on delivering precise conventional strikes with its longer range and accuracy, while Nazar is designed for short-range tactical nuclear deterrence. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.